Hey, weird ass. Can you talk about your viewpoints of the military as someone who is both enlisted and now out for someone wanting a better understanding? Sure. This wasn't intentional, but I'm actually wearing one of my Navy undershirts. For those of you who don't know this, yes, I am a Navy veteran. I served for five years. I was stationed at uh, Navy Medical Center San Diego. Uh, I did get attached to the U.S. NS Mercy, and I did deploy for about like five or six months. I was a bit of a dork. So yeah, that happened. Navy offers a lot of opportunities and benefits to the people who join. Job security, housing, uh, healthcare, food, education, tons of stuff. Very much recommended to young adults who don't have a direction in life because it gives you time to find your direction while also building a skill set. You get you get to learn a trade. College is free when you get in. College is paid for when you get out. There's a like there's a lot of benefits. Problems with the military. They have a zero tolerance policy for SA, yet it still happens a lot. I think a lot of reason might be because they market towards people who have nothing going for them in life. And so a lot of like really bad people end up joining. It is a job that might put you in the line of fire. And that's the name of the game. So you have to be aware of that when going in. My biggest critique of the military is that all of its benefits, and it's got a lot of good benefits, but they're basically a middle finger to the rest of America. Government knows what Americans need in order to live a good life. Healthcare, education, housing, food, money, etc. And we have the ability to provide these things for everyone, but we choose to only give it to people in the military. If you ask a group of service members why they joined the military, the smallest fraction of them will say to serve my country. When colors happens in the morning and we have to salute the flag, we hate that shit. We run indoors to avoid it, or we power walk. People aren't joining because they're just that patriotic. College is the number one answer. Housing is usually number two. Either you got kicked out of your house or you're in a dangerous neighborhood and you need to get out Something like that is usually the second reason why people join. Our country has the means to provide a good life for everybody. It would be the smallest increase to our taxes to do so. But if we did that, what would be people's incentive to join the military? If higher education was paid for by taxes, why would you join? So in order to keep our military strong, we keep our civilians stupid and poor and sick. Healthcare is free in the military, but for everyone else, I look at these other countries that have these things that I'm talking about, and it bothers me that we don't. If I got into a car accident today, I'd call an Uber to take me to the hospital because an ambulance would break the bank for me. Like, America's the greatest country in the world if you haven't been to any of these other countries. But if you look at what these other countries are doing, America's not even a first world country. America's a third world country with a gun. Like, our kids can't even go to school without getting shot at. It's disappointing to see the benefits that everybody in America should have dangled like a carrot as incentive for people to join the military. But I cannot ignore the fact that I wouldn't be where I am today. I wouldn't have had the opportunities that I had in my life without the military. From an individual standpoint, the military was a net positive for me. So do with that information what you will.